This discussion is on resistance movements in World War II. And there were uh, many resistance movements from many different countries that would fight against the Nazi occupation. One of the, re one of the reasons for uh, resistance movements was that the Nazis ruled all of some of these countries we've seen in the map uh, earlier is, the, is, is that the Nazi Gestapo and the Nazi army was ruthless in, in their uh, handling of people in the countries that they took over. You see here, they, the Nazi slave labor set at 12 million. Um, prisoners, um, many were Russians, uh, Poles, and French, 2,500,000 from France alone, were sent to work in factories uh, across the Nazi empire, uh, many of which they would die. So it, it created a violent movement to fight um, and try to drive the Nazis out of their countries. Uh, we see the first resistance movement, the Italian resistance. The Italian resistance um, took place in, in, an, in another dictatorship, uh, fascist Italy, uh, run by fascist Mussolini. But many Italians uh, hated the dictatorship of Mussolini and also encountered uh, a number of Nazi troops in Italy. Um, so there was a strong resistance in, in Italy. Another picture of, of the Italian resistance, which is basically the, uh, this was civilians who had decided to take up and, and, and combat uh, totalitarian powers, uh, both the Nazis and, and the fascist Italian government. Uh, but there were many resistance movements, like I said, in many different countries. Uh, and civilians of all types joined these resistance movements, frequently getting messages, uh, secret messages from uh, presidents who had fled or, or from uh, a variety of, of uh, anti-Nazi places. Uh, the, the largest resistance, and, and not really known, but for uh, World War II historians, this is very uh, is known, is uh, the Polish resistance. The Polish resistance was by far the most widespread and well-organized. You see here, uh, the president of Poland had escaped uh, the Nazis to England, and he was frequently sending messages to the, the resistance. And this is one of them. another uh, picture of, of the Polish resistance. And the Nazi rule in Poland was, was vicious. Uh, they had killed many, in addition to killing uh, over a million Jews, in, 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 they killed over a million Poles and, and a million civilians uh, in, in, in Poland. So they were very hated. And, and the resistance movement was almost for survival because in the end, Hitler had planned on exterminating uh, all of the people of Poland. Uh, the Polish resistance helped the Jews in Warsaw, uh, who were uh, in a, a walled-in ghetto by the Nazis and were being slowly exterminated. Uh, and so uh, the Jews tried to escape through tunnels, and some escaped, but m most were still killed by the Nazis in, in the Warsaw ghetto uprising. speaks of someone in the resistance who had saved uh, 2,500. There were many different kinds of resistance and some would be to hide, hide, uh, hide civilians or, or hide Jews. The most famous, um, yeah, this is the most famous of the resistance movements, uh, the French resistance. So the French, sometimes called the Free French, and the French resistance were all over the cities as well as the countryside, hiding out in, in uh, hilly areas or in areas where the Nazis didn't uh, 
weren't interested in and, and uh, were hard to find uh, for the Nazis. So there's a picture. It's obviously a couple members of the resistance uh, discussing plans. Another uh, shot of the French resistance. So here it appears that the French resistance had derailed a railroad car, a, rail, a train, which they frequently did. They frequently derailed trains uh, to stop the Nazi supply system. And the German, uh, the Gestapo and, 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 and Hitler were furious. And so he, he began to retaliate by executing entire villages in revenge for uh, what the resistance was doing. Here's another shot of uh, resistance members uh, in a town. Uh, obviously, they would be walking around like this. If they were outnumbered, they would be hiding uh, from the, the Nazi troops. But this would be a town where there wouldn't have been an area where there weren't many Nazi troops. And so they could come out in the open. Another French resistance camp. So people in the French resistance certainly had self-respect uh, because they weren't just willing to be slaves or, or victims of, of the Nazi madness. So uh, Nancy Wake was a, uh, a famous uh, resistance fighter in France. Uh, she was actually originally from New Zealand um, and then an English citizen. And then she uh, moved to France and fought. Uh, she got married in France and then fought with the resistance. She survived the war and um, lived a long time after the war. There's an older, very well-known film called Casablanca, which was uh, in part about the, the resistance in France. A scene from the film. So we have the Yugoslavian resistance. Uh, this is one of their leaders. Another part of the Yugoslavian resistance, which was, which was another fierce resistance movement against uh, the invading uh, Nazi army. Uh, another resistance movement, movement in, in Greece, the Greek resistance. And, and the Greek, it also shows you how widespread the, the Nazi troops had taken over uh, in Southern Europe, um, in Greece also. One of the lesser known resistance movements is the German resistance. So there were a, a number of Germans who were just trapped into a situation in which Nazi, German, uh, Nazi Germany had, had begun under Adolf Hitler. So there was an underground movement in Germany also trying to overthrow Hitler. But to be a German against Hitler was extremely dangerous if you were caught or even suspected and you would be executed. Uh, a film about uh, the German uh, resistance was Operation Valkyrie, which was based on a true story in which a number of German officers 
uh, tried to kill Hitler by setting a bomb at one of his meetings. It, it, it came close, but it was unsuccessful. This shows Hitler just before the meeting. The attempt to uh, kill Hitler, um, one of the leaders was Colonel Klaus von Stauffenberg. So uh, it was almost successful, but it, it failed. And uh, another film was the Tom Cruise film, uh, Valkyrie, which was about this, this attempt to kill Hitler. Um, this is uh, Stauffenberg, a quote from him. We took this challenge before our Lord and our conscience, and it must be done, because this man, Hitler, he is the ultimate evil. Another important resistance movement in Germany was called the White Rose, which was a, a group of German uh, college students who, uh, it was more or less a nonviolent resistance movement, but they would put flyers everywhere opposing Adolf Hitler's rule. And those who were captured were killed. Sophie Scholl and her brother were, were very much a part of this, this White Rose. And like it says here, the White Rose leaflets were written by a small circle of young German students who eloquently opposed the Third Reich in face of almost certain death. That's another picture of her. So uh, Sophie Schultz said, somebody after all had to make a start. What we wrote and said is also believed by many others. So uh, the last line, I therefore do not regret my conduct and will bear the consequences that may result from it. So she was captured uh, along with her brother and guillotined, which is a type of execution you don't hear a lot about with the Nazis, but they did that too. And now, uh, much later, there's a stamp to commemorate her and her brother. Another quote uh, just before her execution. These were members of the White Rose student movement that were executed. Uh, and maybe perhaps the least known of the resistance movements is the Jewish resistance. And we always see pictures of them uh, very passively lining up to be taken off the death camps. But even those pictures are deceiving, and for a while, historians used to criticize them for being passive, um, unfortunately. Uh, but most of the time, they were surrounded by machine guns and guard dogs, and they were without weapons, so they had to be. They had to be passive. But there was a Jewish resistance that was going on, a violent Jewish resistance. Some of the resistance fighters fought in and lived in the forests of Poland. And they were, uh, you know, wise to live in the forest because had they been lived in the towns or cities, they, they, they may have been killed and rounded up. But they would raid um, German uh Jeep uh, areas and do everything they could to try and uh, give the Nazis a hard time. A book on the Bielski brothers who, who were 
uh, the head of a resistance movement in Poland in the forest. A film made about the Bielski brothers a few years ago was Defiance with Daniel Craig. Uh, it's a true story. It was based directly on the book. A quote directly from um, one of the Bielski brothers who uh, our revenge is to live. We may be hunted like animals, but we will not become animals. We have all chosen this to live free. And then, you know, this was directly a quote of his. And then the Belgium resistance. So there was resistance movements in many countries. There were France, Poland, Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia, the Jewish resistance, and, and the German resistance. So that's uh, uh, some information on the, resi the important resistance movements.